What up, y'all? I'm Gabe Ocean with NiceTakes.com, and I'm here with another unboxing that I want you guys to check out. Today, we're taking a look at a collaboration between Clot and Air Jordan, the second of which you might have seen the Terracotta Warrior. This is the other one, the black infrared pair. Before we get into this show, I want you guys to check out the box. It has a few things that I think are pretty interesting about it. Normally, you would see like a standard Jordan 13 box, but here it has the same overall look, except instead of it being silver, We've got a totally black, matte finish black box with the Jumpman logo, one of the Clot logos, Jordan 23, and the other Clot logo that we'll later see on the shoe when we take a look at it. So let me pop the box open and show you guys what I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out both of these because they're unique in a certain sense. Before we even look at the shoe though, we got this card in here, which I think is really cool. It's got the Jumpman logo, Clot logo, and gold metallic. And on the other side, they've got the Terracotta Warriors. If you've seen pictures of them, they've got the Terracotta statues. And uh, on these, they've got the Air Jordan Terracotta Warrior shoes on in this one. So basically, this shoe is very similar to the Air Jordan 13 red colorway that's in a mid form but this one's the low essentially and instead of them using a red 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 color on this they used a infrared it's really close well closer to pink more than red i would say but for all intents and purposes it pops like like crazy so yeah from there we have pretty much the same thing going on but we have infrared of course on the inside of this tongue which is not the case on the bread mid 13. Also, we have a suede toe, which is a nice touch. And uh, what's also pretty interesting about the Air Jordan 13 is they have suede on the midsole. I think this is the only one, the only Air Jordan in the line that has suede on the midsole. So that's really cool. So from there, some other things that really make this shoe stand out uh, is the clot logo on the ankle. Usually on an Air Jordan 13 mid, you would see the hologram. But here on an Air Jordan 13 low, you would see the Jumpman logo. But on this one, the Clot logo is replacing it with the Jumpman logo being moved to the tongue. And on the other shoe, they reversed it. So it's the Clot logo on the tongue with the Jumpman logo on the ankle. Like I said before, Bread 13 all the way. You got the 3M dots all over the medial and lateral side panels of this shoe. And those dots also are seen on the shoe's carbon fiber plate. And also, clot logo on the bottom of the shoe where you normally see a Jumpman logo. And under the shoe, it's flipped around and they've got the Jumpman logo on the bottom. And of course, uh, while we don't see brown anywhere else on the shoe, we do see it on the bottom, which ties this shoe to the other shoe that they released uh, a week prior to this one. Of course, this shoe came out December 22nd, 2018. Really good to have this shoe in hand. Really impressed with the construction of it and the, you know, the direction that they went with it. Just like that, I'm Gabe Bush with NiceKicks.com. Tell you to like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more episodes. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.